With the latest release of the Express App Framework, we're introducing a new way to create reports for your XAF-powered application. Simply said, you'll now be able to create your report using extra reports within Visual Studio and effortlessly integrate them into your XAF applications by using the new Reports V2 module. Let's start with a simple application intended to store contacts. I'm going to add reporting functionality to this app. I open the module project and double-click the module.cs file. Then I add the Reports Module V2 item from the toolbox. Next, let's open the WinForms application project and double-click the winapplication.cs file. Then I add the Reports Windows Forms Module V2 item from the toolbox to enable WinForms-specific features such as the Report Viewer and Report Designer. Now let's add an extra report. I'll do this in the module project because I'm going to use this report in both WinForms and ASP.NET applications. We introduced two new components, the collection data source and the view data source, both intended to provide data for reports in XAF. In the initial beta release, you'll need to add them to your toolbox manually. So let's right-click the toolbox and select Choose Items. In the dialog, search for Reports v2 Components, and here they are, Collection Data Source and View Data Source. In this video, I'm going to use Collection Data Source. After dragging it to the designer, I can specify Object Type Name in the Properties window. Let's choose Contact here. Now, Contacts fields are available in the Field List window, and let's add the name and email fields to the detail band and align them. The report is now ready. To register this report, let's edit the module.cs code and modify the getModuleUpdaters method. I'll create the predefined reports updater object, then use its add predefined report method to add an extra report one report. As you can see, this report will be called contacts report and will target contact type objects. Finally, let's add the predefined reports updater object to the result array of the get module updaters method. Let's start the WinForms application. You can see that the reports navigation item appears and the contacts report is available. There are three scenarios of the reports v2 usage at runtime. The first scenario is using the predefined report as is. A user can print or export the report and the report cannot be removed or modified. The second scenario is using the predefined report as a template for custom user reports. A user can create an editable copy via the copy predefined report action. The report copy is fully customizable. I can rename it. And I can open the copy in the Report Designer and modify the report layout. For instance, I can add a header. And here is the result. The third scenario is to create custom reports from scratch. This functionality is similar to the old reports module. Now let's see how Reports v2 works in an ASP.NET application. I'll open the ASP.NET application project and double-click the webapplication.cs file. Then I add the Reports ASP.NET Module v2 item from the toolbox. Both predefined and custom contact reports are available. Note, the report designer is not available for the ASP.NET platform, so I can't create or modify a report. However, I can print a report or export it to multiple formats. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.